Hey guys, it's Brandon from Aussie V Fleet. Today we're gonna to go through how to service an F-150 Lightning. It's super easy, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this. Okay, as you can see, we've driven it on the hoist. Uh, a lot of this service stuff is just like an internal combustion engine or a normal car, as a lot of people would say. So we'll start with doing a light check, making sure indicators, headlights, brake lights, park lights work, make sure the horn works, uh, go through and check the windscreen washers and wipers. Make sure there's no faults on the dash, go through and make sure that there's no tire pressure issues or anything like that. Okay, so now we're gonna have a look under the frunk, which is normally the bonnet on most other cars. There's a frunk release switch under here. Now this is gonna give us access to vital things like coolant level, brake fluid level, and the battery. Also, if you need to jump start it, it's underneath this post here. We rip this off, that gets you into the battery. Check the terminals, make sure they're nice and tight. The battery's nice and secure. It's a maintenance free battery, so you shouldn't have to do anything other than that. While we're in here, up here, you've got the electronic high voltage vehicle service disconnect, which we'll go through in another video. Uh, underneath here is also the coolant level, the coolant reservoir, and also the brake fluid reservoir. That needs to be checked during the service. Okay, so that's inside the car and inside the frunk as well, or the bonnet. Uh, now we're gonna show you how to get it onto a two post hoist. There's actually locating arrows on the chassis rail to show you where to put the lifting, arm, lifting pads under. So halfway up on the hoist, we're gonna do the wheel and tire check and the brake check. So make sure there's no play in any wheel bearings or any suspension components, visual check of the tires, tread depth check, make sure they're not feathering and always rotate them front to back each service as well. So now we've got the vehicle at full height, we're gonna do an underbody inspection. Not much changes to ICE vehicles, internal combustion engine vehicles. It's a visual check of suspension components, CV shafts, make sure that there's no debris or anything hanging underneath. Then we add a few other things like checking the high voltage battery pack connections and also the cooling. Okay, so this is where the high voltage battery pack connections and coolings are. We wanna make sure there's no sticks or debris in there. Make sure there's no damage around that area. Also to make sure that the bash plates are secured and doing their job and not letting any foreign objects in there. Make sure you adjust the tire pressures to a minimum of 40 PSI. I know certain sites require more. Just make sure we have at least 40 PSI. When the wheels go back on, make sure you torque them to the correct setting and also that the torque wheel nut indicators go back on. Okay, so the only other thing we have to do inside is to replace the pollen filter. Uh, they need to be done every 32,000 kilometers as a minimum, but please check them every service. If they need to be replaced, go ahead and replace them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the glove box down. Gives us access to the pollen filter cover there. We unclip that from each side. 